Hello beautiful people, it's Sandro Stefanucci here and we're at our 19th uh, street job in West Vancouver. Um, just wanted to show you here uh, what I've done here uh, with, with this here. The engineering um, was kind of, um, uh, how shall I say, not exactly um, what I would expect from this. So it's, it's, things have changed and the engineer just like was a very um, uh, difficult to deal with so I basically told him how I was going to design the floor system on here and um, the reason I doubled up the 2x10 so I used 2x10 select fur uh, so it's the best product you can possibly buy for dimensional lumber in 2x10 and uh, this is our partition wall so we blocked them out like they should be um, and there's still guys out there that are actually not blocking any, any uh, parallel walls to the joists so we've blocked every one's that, all the walls that are going parallel and I've doubled up and then I strap in the center underneath the two by four. So I don't like blocking because a lot of times what happens is the guys will, um, you know, if they're running pipes and stuff through this and smashing the blocking out, so then you got to go back and you got to do a bunch of work to it and, and um, um, you know, to support it and, and it act like a bridging. So if you're stepping on this one here, it kind of transfers the weight through the other one. So, by doubling up that, I've really stiffened that joist up immensely. We put a two by four uh, plate under the bottom here. We screwed that to the wall. So th this section is all uh, supported underneath. So th they won't be able to, they won't cut those out. They can just go right through the joisting and put their pipes in. There's not gonna be anything being cut out of this at all. So it will keep the structural integrity here. Um, as you can see, we went crazy on the, on our uh, quick bolt, uh, ready, uh, quick bolts through the foundation, the existing foundation. So we plated it and we put two every 60 inches on center. So we've got like 150 bolts in this uh, in this floor area. And we have some special hangers in here. Um, unfortunately, I already blocked it with the insulation, but um, we hangered everything and we, we uh, bolted it to the concrete wall. So this thing here is like bulletproof. Um, and we've got a few sheets of three quarter plywood. Now I don't like using five eighths. I prefer three quarters. It's actually that much better. Um, and it doesn't even move at all and that's the way it is right now and it's nice and solid we're using uh, the quick drive screws in here and now they make quick drive screws with the torx the torx heads on them so you don't strip them number two robbies is what they typically used on here and now they've uh, switched this out to torx head which uh that works fantastic and it makes uh, makes a tough job really quick and anyways yeah so we, every six inches we're going with the screws and she's going to be a super solid floor oh as you can see the ac lines are are run underneath here because we have a concrete wall that we have to access from the far side of the house which can be a problem anyways that's uh what we're doing right now talk to you guys later